Alright, so what is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, it's me again, Teacher Kevin PH, and we're back with another video. So this time I'm going to teach you if how to lay out uh, a tarpaulin, okay, a basic tarpaulin layout using Adobe Photoshop, right? Well, basically this is also one of the best skill that we must have. But of course, before we proceed, my dear friends, if this is your first time to visit my channel, please do support my humble channel. I'm always uploading video tutorials about computers and more, right? So as you can see, I'm already in my uh, um, Adobe Photoshop workspace. I'm using Adobe Photoshop CS3 actually, okay? So uh, the first thing that you need to know, of course, is the different sizes for tarpaulin layout, okay? Uh, the currently, the commonly used uh, size for birthdays is two by three, okay? Uh, two, in, uh, two by three feet, and uh, we also have uh, that 16 by nine, or uh, four, we also have uh, four by three. Okay, this time we're going to lay out uh, two by three. Okay, so click, uh, if you're already uh, on um, Adobe Photoshop Workspace, just click in Control N. Okay, then uh, let, let's uh, pick in or choose the size uh, for our layout. I'm going to convert this one into inches. I'm going to choose um, how many inches do we have in one foot? we have 12 inches so if i'm going to lay out uh three by two inches 36 inches by uh 12 times 2 24 and resolution will always be 72 okay then click on okay right all right so this is our uh, paper <laughs> Uh, the next thing is, of course, to insert a background of this one. I'm going to open Control O. I'm going to choose uh, from my images. Uh, I have here images. And uh, I'm going to choose this one. All right, there you go. I'm going to use this one as background. Simply, the next thing is, of course, to copy this one and paste it to your original paper. Okay, and this one, I'm going to use a rectangular marking tool, click, then just drag the part that you want to copy, Control C, and let's go back to our main paper. There you go, this is our main paper, which is being resized by 3 by 2 Control V, then all we need to do then is to resize this one, Control T for transform, then shift, there you go. Okay, then hit enter. All right, so this is our main background. Okay, the next, we may also insert an image. Okay, I'm going to insert an image. Uh, let's just assume that this is my image. Okay. There you go. And then again, you will use rectangular marquee tool. Then drag the and select the part that you want to copy. Control C and Let's go back to our main paper, Control V. All right, there you go. Okay, Shift. Say for example, I am uh, I, I I own a school, and I'm going to make a layout uh, for enrollment tarp. All right. The next after that, we may insert text. Okay, this is just a basic and simple layout. All right, enroll now. Right, then con uh, click on that one, control T to transform, control uh, minus to zoom out, control plus to zoom in. Okay, then again, let's resize this one. All right, there you go, control plus to zoom in. There you go. Okay, as simple as this one, my dear friends, actually, you can do a lot better than this. 
uh, actually I can uh, I, I may just explain different uh, things that you need to know about Photoshop but this is just a simple layout okay if how to lay out how to use text and how to use different backgrounds okay uh, creativity will then be yours if you're going to make your own all right so that's it for now hope you've learned something simply how to use text and uh, photos as background and as layout in Adobe Photoshop. Hope you've learned something and see you again next time. Bye-bye.